Giant steps are what you take walking on the moon. I hope my legs don't break walking on the roll the credits. Welcome to the Movie Wrench, where we take big pokes at big movies. Today we're going to be taking a poke at Ridley Scott's supposed sci-fi epic Prometheus. Needless to say, I had some problems with this film. Here at The Wrench, as we hipster douchebags like to call it, we not only point out perceived flaws, we also try to come up with solutions. But remember, there will be big, throbbing spoilers. So beware. For those who haven't seen the film, or those lucky enough to have forgotten it, the plot goes something like this. Many, many years ago, a big white oh. alien dude in a Speedo drinks some magic ink, and then he starts to fall apart, and then jumps into a waterfall on some planet somewhere. Then, many years later, some archaeologists find some cave paintings around the world that kind of look like each other. Based on this amazing, inarguable evidence, they secure funding to go to the planet oh. that's seen in those images. On that planet, they find evidence of an alien race that may or may not have anything to do with anything. There's monsters, oh. things explode, Damn. a miracle birth, and lots of other things. There, you're up to speed. There's a confused history with this visual head cheese. For one thing, there's a question as to whether it was meant to be a prequel to Scott's earlier film Alien or not. Of course, Scott didn't write Alien, nor was it his idea, so there's that. Many times before it came out, Scott was quoted as saying this was not meant to be a prequel. No way, uh-oh, uh-oh. And yet, it takes place in the events prior to Alien. It takes place in the same universe as Alien, and it uses a lot of references to Alien, but it's not a prequel. And to be fair, it kind of isn't. On the other hand, it kind of is. But that's the big problem. Let's start small, won't you? Thank you. I have, once again, three major issues with this film. And a lot of little ones. Three, it's a magic number. Of the three, this one might seem the most trivial, the most crankified. Kids, get off my lawn! And yet, it ruins a lot of what should tie Alien and Prometheus together. It's the art direction. See, nothing in this movie looks like it takes place before the events in Alien. From boots to spaceships, everything here is way ahead. This is the set from Alien. This is the J.J. Abrams suite from the Hotel Prometheus, which looks like it should come first. Would it have been really that hard to get it close? I guess a decision was made that the audience, that's you and me, wouldn't get it unless Prometheus had the newest, juiciest, most lusciousest technology ever. So, whatever. To me, it just ruins any hint that Prometheus should take place before Alien. <coughs> Problem. Everything in this film visually says that it takes place decades after the other Aliens films. Solution? Simple enough. Do a little research. Look at the old films. Just try and make things make visual, chronological sense. Second thing, and I've said this about other films, there's just too damn many characters. There's enough for a baseball team. And the only reason most of these people are here is so they can be chewed, swallowed, spindled, and mutilated later in the film. There's been no attempt made to flesh them out or make them more than eventual meat. Might as well name them after sandwiches. And the movie's dark enough, and they're all wearing spacesuits, that when one of these walking Happy Meals is eaten, we have no idea which one it is. And it doesn't really matter. We know nothing about these people, so we don't care. Even the main characters are pretty thin. What's her name? She's an archaeologist. She has daddy issues. She can't have kids for some reason, which I guess is important. Her boyfriend is kind of hyper. He's got a nice butt. Gosh, it sure is sad when he dies. The entire cast is like the first season of Gilligan's Island. It's totally and the rest. We just don't care. Problem? too many characters, none of which we know very well. Solution? The easiest solution is to make the cast a lot smaller, perhaps focus on just two or three of them at best. Of course, this leaves nothing for the monsters to eat, and we'd probably have to rid the film of its annoying, unnecessary, and inexplicable drink the black stuff subplot, which is fine because it doesn't make sense anyway. See, it's poison when he drinks it, 
but if she gets it through intercourse, she has an alien butt baby, like three minutes later. And it totally heals her inability to have kids because, yeah. Speaking of the black stuff, which we shall call the black stuff, it's kind of a problem in and of itself. See, we don't have any idea what it's supposed to really be. In the beginning of the film, this big white guy, whom we'll refer to as the big white guy, drinks the stuff, then jumps off a cliff into a waterfall of roaring DNA. It's implied that this is the beginning of the human race. So he's our benefactor, right? I mean, the movie's not named Prometheus for nothing, or is it? Because see, later in the film, the black stuff is everything from a biological weapon that could take out all life on Earth to something that heals wounds and makes baby alien squid things. It's a MacGuffin that totally contradicts its own nature and leaves us scratching our heads as to wondering what the hell it is. But I digress. <laughs> the third and biggest problem I have with this movie is that mess I mentioned in the beginning. Is this a prequel to Alien or isn't it? Thing is, there's two different movies going on here. The first of which is a story about our origins and our connections to other races and the cosmos in general. And it is the potential of being rather interesting in an ancient aliens kind of way. The second movie, which shoulders its way into the first, belching and farting and excusing itself loudly, that's this half-assed monster movie, the alien part. And its connection to that franchise is tenuous at best. Really, all it does is derail any chance we might have had of feeling wonder with the first story and allowing us to roll our eyes when one of the nameless boobs, who signed on to this carny ride without even knowing what it was about in the first place, dies. Boo-hoo. The biological weapon the big white guys developed, and there's not a woman among them, seems to be just as dangerous for them as it is for us. This weapon makes aliens, and humans, or something. In the first movie, aliens came from eggs. In this movie, they're anything but. They're squids, or snakes, or tentacle hentai, or clowns, or girl scouts. There's no sign of the original alien anywhere. There's just a whole lot of new monsters that resemble the old one. Sort of. Is this meant to be evolution? Because this film takes place before Alien. These two plot points don't just butt heads. They get drunk, spit half-assed obscenities at each other, then launch across the bar in a display of frat boy furor. The only point this monster plot has is to rid the movie of its bloated cast. I just wish they'd done this before they'd started filming. <laughs> Problem? Two major plots that really don't mesh together well. Solution? Major rewrite time. I really don't see the point in connecting this movie to the Alien franchise. After the first of those films, it went from a monster in the dark kind of format to an action hero kind of format. Why not stay that way? I think the plot with the big white guy is actually pretty interesting. Prometheus was the titan that brought us fire and, depending on which account you read, made people as well. It's the obvious tie of that name to this movie. Why not explore that? The only thing that the monster plot brings to this movie is melting faces and screaming and explosions, all of which distracts from everything else. It's time that could be spent with character development and it would give the audience a chance to actually connect with the cast. Well, that's it for another episode of The Movie Wrench. Tune in next time when we take on another big, big movie. And don't drink the icky black stuff. Tune in next time. Tighten the nuts on another giant, huge, mega, and big smash explosion of a movie. And remember, these are only opinions. Mine. They don't hurt much. Right? I mean, the movie's not named Prometheus for nothing. <coughs> Cut. <laughs> <laughs>